is that the park had early entry, uh, I believe, today. But, I mean, like, this is crazy empty. The fact that we're in the first row and it's already 8 o'clock is kind of wild. Like, I feel like there should be so many more people here. But, anyway, good morning and welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. So excited to have you here. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning. Look at the sky and the palm trees. The Skyliner's coming in. You want another little hack. If you are driving and you're not staying on property, uh, most of the time they'll have you park over there. Is that That's the safer route for sure. But since there's no more trams, the tram lane is basically empty except for company vehicles like this one truck as I'm giving this tip. But if you cross the street right here, it is a much shorter walk than going all the way around the outside. Oh no, my shoe's untied. All right, please pause. <laughs> Just realized the sound effects I'm making. Hi everyone, good morning. I'm Pete Carney. Welcome to Adventures by Carney. It is a wonderful Wednesday. We are here in Orlando, Florida. Walt Disney World Hollywood Studios. And uh, we are going to start out with a little hack that I've never done on a live stream. I've never actually done it. So we're going to do it for the first time together. It's a quote-unquote secret spot to get a mimosa in the morning on Sunset Boulevard. So we're going to go check it out. You don't have to go into a restaurant. The bars don't open until later on. But a little secret spot. So we're going to go check that out. If you could do me a big favor, please hit that like button. It really does help. Helps other people find the stream. And let's create some magic. It's hump day, it's Wednesday. You've been doing a little magic. So hit the like button. If you're new, consider subscribing. Shout out to all the Patreons. We had an awesome Zoom call last night. Uh, so much fun. By the time we were done, I had to get back in the car. We actually did it from the Swan Reserve. I think I got home, I don't know, pretty late. Midnight, one. I went to bed around 1.30, two. But we're back and we're here. All right, let's go through security. See you guys in a second. I got to show you the floor for a minute. If you have those large metal objects, remember to hit them all the way out in front of you when you need to. If you hit them too close, you need to hit them the way Look at all these people. So, early entries for guests to participate in hotels, not us, but I'm hoping that they're going to let us on to Hollywood Boulevard. While we're here, check out the awesome water bottles. Well, they're just insulated, so you can put your hot in here, your coffee, uh, it'll say hot all day, you're cold. This is still ice cold from this morning, uh, and I just put two ice cubes in it. I think we have still just a few of these left we got uh just a few left if you want some go check them out on the discord or the website the discord's linked in the description and the website is adventuresbycarney.fun yikes so i'm gonna find out hold on one sec All right, we got past phase one. We're going to try phase two. Hi, right, thanks so much. We're in, baby. Little Carney Magic. Hollywood. I see we already have about 80 people hanging out, but only 40 likes. Come on, everybody, hit the like button. Let's start this morning off super magical. Ah, oh, breathe it in. 8 a.m., we're walking down Hollywood Boulevard. 
I don't know. I feel like, should we do a ride first? Should we do the mimosa thing? I feel like we should go rope drop something. Maybe we'll go well. What are we thinking? Slinky dog, rise. Let me know in the chat. morning you look great what a way to start the morning you too Jim I feel like I can get on rise faster than slinky I know that sounds crazy but I'm pretty sure I can so I think I'm gonna walk towards slinky now I'm trying to pull up the wait times I brought the second phone but the Disney Wi-Fi not spectacular at the moment all right, we're in the Disney Wi-Fi. We'll also catch up with the chat in just a little bit. They're both, yeah. Maybe we'll do both. I'm hoping most people are going to rise. That's why I walk this way. And also, I think I can get rise pretty quickly later on. Da, 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 da. If you're looking for a nice little spot to grab some coffee, a lot of people stop at the Starbucks on Hollywood Boulevard. You come back here, there's a Joffrey's in this market with nobody back here. You can go and grab a coffee, your tea, your breakfast, snacks, all back here. Brandy saying the best coffee in Hollywood Studios is the Black Calf Cold Brew in Batu. Look how empty. What a beautiful morning. Such a state of appreciation. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, hanging out with me. Woody's Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. We were lucky enough to go here opening morning. We have a stream here on the channel. We went all out. We got everything. It was a ton of fun. Hmm. They have the new blue milk drink today. Where? Oh, uh, in, on Batu. I hope it's better than the last one. Steven Noon is uh, here at Walt Disney World. Blue milk with fruity pebbles. Ugh, not my thing, but I'm sure some people will like it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun.
Look at this, it's no minutes from this point. <laughs> All right. I don't think it's gonna be 30. I think we're good here. Let's see how long it's gonna take. Let's go on Slinky Dog Dash. Good morning. If you ever look at the standby entrance, it's actually Buster's tag. He lives at 234 Elm. This, I'm gonna say, is like, I don't know, 20-ish? Let's see. That's my threshold. Hey, howdy, hey, Troy, and welcome to Slinky Dog Dash. In order to keep your wait time as short as possible, we ask that you keep your entire party together and keep up with the group ahead of you at all times. In addition, please know the total number of passengers traveling in your party. Know that this Everyone, hold on one sec. Two passengers per row. Disney just sent me a code on my phone that I have to go check, so I have to pause the stream for one second, but don't go anywhere. Stay right here. Hit the like button. I'll be back in one minute. Don't go anywhere. Hang on. That's sun. All right. I'm starting to think this might actually be 30 minutes. new plan everyone we're going this way up oh. I got a plan we don't wait for things I can't waste your precious time we're gonna come back and do uh, Slinky in a little bit, but I think we're going to go get some carny magic over on Rise of the Resistance, and uh, we won't have to wait in the standby queue over there, hopefully. Work a little magic. Woody's lunchbox. Not open yet. Alien swirling saucers. One of my favorite things about the restrooms here in Toy Story Land is that there's cooties right next to the restroom. Also in the men's room, the urinals are all kids height. You feel like a giant. Another cool thing, since Buzz Lightyear is out here, that's why his box back there is empty, because he's right here. But Toy Story Land is great, and it's been a great visit, and we'll be back 
But Batu is calling. It is time to go to Galaxy's Edge and take one giant leap. Well, that's actually just Andy's footprint. But let's head to another planet. Oh, things are happening. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. It really does help. I know we got around 80 people hanging out so far. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios here at Walt Disney World. We're gonna go, we've entered Galaxy's Edge, AKA Batsu, AKA Star Wars Land. We're gonna go ride Rise of the Resistance to start our day. I love all the little things. One of my favorite things, if you guys know, I love a little Batsu after dark, who's bad? Cause the, it's so empty back here, but right now in the morning, quiet as well. I actually put on suntan lotion today, and this is why I don't do it. It is dripping into my eyeballs. What is happening here? Let's listen to it for fun, fun facts. All right, I don't want to crash their tour. Uh, they have a little bounty scavenger hunt here, which is a lot of fun. We've done that on a stream. You can go check that out here on the channel. We'll cut through the market on the way to Rise to show you my favorite Batu fun fact. I was a big fan of Lights, Motors, Action, the car stunt show that was back here years ago before Batu was a thing. I also love Ronto Roasters in the morning, but anyway. Let's keep moving. Whoa, where are they going? Into a secret shop? I don't know if that's allowed. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, they just walked on in. Anyway, when you see these three hoverboards here, uh, you'll see this writing here in Arabesh. This JCK. If you translate that on the My Disney Experience app, you can translate all the writing here in the land. That translates to LMA for Lights, Motors, Action. This exact spot right here in the middle of the market was center stage for Lights, Motors, Action, the car stunt show here at Hollywood Studios. There you go, fun fact, impress your family and friends. We've played a lot of card games back here, Memory, Sabat. Whenever someone's asking me for advice on their Disney trips, the first thing I say every time is get to the parks early. Whatever time the park opens, just get there earlier. You can get more done in the first hour, hour and a half than the next four hours combined. And there's so many, even if you don't go on a rides or attractions, so many great picture opportunities, so many things to just you could go explore that are empty before the chaos ensues. I opened up my other phone and it gave me the data pad. Hack, scan, translate, tune. We'll activate the data pad later. few minutes I gotta wait kind of stolen here I want to go on rise we'll go on rise in five minutes or so but maybe we do have time for a quick breakfast Ronto wrap because I love them let's do that then we'll come back and ride rise we're gonna take the lightning lane 
because nobody wants to wait in line, especially if you're watching a live stream. That's crazy. So what we're going to do is let's grab a breakfast Ronto wrap. This is also a great picture spot right here. Super cool. Look at this. How beautiful is this? So we'll grab a breakfast Ronto wrap. I'll say hi to everybody in the chat. I love saying hi to everyone. So if you want, jump in the chat. If you have any questions, comments, requests for this morning's stream, throw them in there. The goal is going to be we're going to go on rise. Well, we're getting this breakfast Ronto wrap, then we're going to go on rise. I'm going to show you the cool little secret mimosa spot. And then I think we're going to go back and go on Slinky. Ready to see the hardest working man at Disney? This poor bot just grinds all day. So for breakfast, we have the Triple Suns breakfast wrap, plant-based egg, smoky chickpea onion slaw, roasted tomato sauce wrapped in a pita. We have the morning ronto wrap, which is an egg omelet, grilled pork sausage, shredded cheese, and peppercorn sauce wrapped in pita. That's what I'm going for. Then we have the Rising Moon's overnight oats. You got oats, dragon fruit, yogurt, seasonal fruit. And then you got the Andoan fruit with the muha sauce, which you got jicama, cucumber, seasonal fruit spears, a tamarind, and peppercorn ash. And then here's the black calf. This is what phenomenal Brandy was talking about. Her favorite coffee. You got it. Keep going. Never give up. Good morning. Can I do that uh, Ronto wrap? And uh, just a cup of water. Oh, if I can, uh, I'll do the lunch one if the lunch one's available. Yeah. Even better. What? I just a cup of water. Oh, perfect. Lisa, you want any water here? One cup of water. One what? One water. Thank you so much. All right. So that's fun. I actually like the lunch Ronto wrap better, so I'm glad we got to do that. Let's go sit over here. I like this little spot. My little nook, I can people watch in this corner. And I'm not disturbing anyone.
I'm gonna grab some napkins. I'll be right back. And we'll say hi to everybody in just one second. Hang in there. We're going on Rise of the Resistance in just a few minutes. And we're back. Hi everybody. Good morning. We're here at Hollywood Studios. I'm hanging out on Batu Galaxy's Edge. We're gonna go ride rides in just a few minutes. But first, I had to grab my little Ronto wrap. I was gonna get the breakfast one, but they had the lunch, and uh, I like lunch more than breakfast, so I'm just going for lunch. So let's get right into it. Mm mm mm. Rising suns, that is good. I just thought I'd say hi, but I don't know if you want to see this big red face. Let me show you a little bit of Star Wars, and I'll catch up with some chat while eating. So I'm going to go back as far as I can, say hi to you, as many of you as I can. Good morning to Tomorrowland Traveler, Sarah Garvey, Katie McGinnis, Jamie Philippone, Jackie Johnson, Melvin Lee, Lynette, Alyssa, Robert D, Brianna, good morning, Moogle. Moogle, one of our newest Patreons. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon, Moogle. You are awesome. Phenomenal Brandy in the house. John Thorne is here, good morning. Arm Bandito, Nelson, what's up? Miss you, Chad Campbell, good morning. Chris L. Good morning, Brenda. Rising Suns. Susan, happy Wednesday. <laughs> Brandy says, is it too early for baseline? Well, they're not open yet, but it's never too early for baseline. Brandy says, 58 North Jersey, and I'm loving the cool air. That sounds amazing right now, as I am pouring sweat down my face already. Steven Nude, good morning. As I said, Stephen, one of our, I think now, five travel agents we have on our Discord. We have an amazing Discord community. You guys should check it out. The link is down below in the description. It's free and it's awesome. I highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Shelly, good morning. Yes, Brenda, the curtain did go up on the Haunted Mansion over the Magic Kingdom. They are installing the Hatbox Ghost here in Orlando. Slinky Dog looked longer than 30 minutes. That's why we hopped off that line. And then we got a Rise uh, Lightning Lane. So we're going to go jump on that. It was for 8.30. So as soon as we're done eating this Ronto wrap, we're going to go ride Rise of the Resistance. Katie will be down here at Disney in just six days. That's so exciting. Mark Mueller, good morning. So excited to see so many of you up early with me, uh, considering we are on our Patreon call to almost midnight. Sean S., good morning. Thanks for being here. Susan's got 53 days till she's down here at Disney. That's so exciting. David D., good morning. Karen Sanders, good morning from Texas. Avery Berry, good morning. HFC uh, is saying, just want to say we subscribed last night during the pool stream and we have learned more fun facts in two streams. Keep up the great stuff. My pleasure. I'm so glad. Thanks for being a new subscriber. We appreciate that. If anyone else is new out there or recently new, let us know. If you're not new and you've just never said hi, say hi. We love everyone. Armandito, we're going to go get the mimosa for breakfast uh, right after Rise. That is, I'm going to show everyone there's a spot you can get a mimosa in the morning when the park opens. And we're going to go get one right after we go on Rise of the Resistance. HFC says, uh, last night we did a, a quick little stream from uh, the Swan Dolphin Swan Reserve. And uh, HFC says, we've been coming since 1996. Had no idea about the QR code to the Swan and Dolphin. Also, the light motor action factor is interesting. Well, I'm so glad. 
Brandy says, I also like the lunch Toronto wrap better. <laughs> the egg rectangle patty thing is a little weird to me. Yeah, same here. Joey's in the house just mousing around, repping Long Island. P.S. or I should say P. Sweezy. Good morning. Walt, good morning. Nice to have a Walt here. Shelly, thanks for posting a link to the Discord here in the chat. Northern Lights, Southern Comfort. Uh, rope drop Ronto, no doubt. Yeah, let's have another little bite here. The sooner we finish this Ronto wrap, the sooner we head on to the rise of the resistance. For those wondering, the Ronto wrap is $12.99. No, with tax here in Florida, it comes to $13.83. Sean's got 143 days until their trip. Chris L says, I love the parks in the morning. Me too. There's some magic in the air. Gene Fitz Magic. Speaking of magic, is in the house. Shout out to Gene Fitz Magic. Coach N, good morning. Hope everyone's having a fantastic morning. We're hanging out right here on Batu at Galaxy's Edge, having a Ronto wrap. And oh, we got stormtroopers coming over. You guys want a Ronto wrap? <laughs> no thanks. That was great. You guys want a round to wrap? No thanks. I'm in my little breakfast corner over here. Because I get to people watch while I have my breakfast round to wrap. Isn't this nice? I see we got a big crowd hanging out. Good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Happy Wednesday from wherever you're watching. I'm so happy you're here with me. It means a lot. If you can do me a big favor, hit that like button. It really does help. Spread the Disney magic around the world. And, uh, and if you haven't looked at the sun yet, you can just stare at my big red face. All right, look at this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm not going to gross you all out. I'll cover it like a gentleman. Mm, mm, mm. crazy to think where I'm aiming the camera right now would be right around where the Osborne spectacle of dancing lights would have taken place. I miss the Osborne lights. I think that's something that everybody really, that was one of the hardest things to go when they were redoing the back of Hollywood studios was the Osborne lights were so like such a tradition in so many families. Jason Meckes, good morning. Brandy, that's a brilliant idea, and it would work perfectly. And I'm sure someone's going to do it. If you want to see my son, <laughs> my son, I'm sorry. I don't have a son. Brandy wrote, can someone in the Discord Photoshop Pete's face in the Teletubbies baby son? And it will happen. I'm sure someone will do it. The Discord is hilarious. I love our Discord. Also, I should talk about... Uh, how much fun we have on the socials. If you guys want to follow along in between the streams, please go follow the socials. Instagram is at official Carney. The Twitter is at your WDW guy, although they call it X now, I guess. Uh, Threads is official Carney. TikTok is Adventures by Carney. And really, Discord's the best. It's just the friendliest, kindest community. It's free. I recommend using your YouTube handle or your real, na or your real name. I'm talking way too fast. I need a mimosa to slow me down. We're going to get a mimosa right after Rise. I'm very excited about it. I've never done it. I know it exists. I did my research and my homework. So I'm going to show all of you where you can get a mimosa first thing in the morning here in the park. Because if you're like me on vacation, you need a mimosa to kick off your day. But first, you also would love to go on a rise. One of the premier, some people's number one ride in all of Walt Disney World. So we're going to do that. I am about 50% done with this round to wrap. It's a lot of bread. We're going to get rid of some of the bread. It is a good size sandwich. Like, look at this. I have a big head. That's... Did you see, let's talk about this. It's sort of Disney related, but Kevin Hart, uh, his wedding pictures are so funny because he's short and his wife's taller. 
how he staggered himself. He's standing 10 feet in front of his bride, so in the picture, they look like they're the same height. It is so funny. I saw that on Instagram. Just thought I'd bring that up because it's all about perspective. Like, look how big this sandwich is. Anyway, breakfast tangents. Am I right? Shelly's posting the links to the Patreon and all the socials here in the chat, and they're all listed down below in the description as well. And John, thank you so much, Shelly and John. What amazing people we have here. Murphy, good morning, great to see you. Brianna, good morning. I hear you're traveling. Hope you're having a great summer. Uh, to all the Florida locals, uh, shout out to the teachers. They have to go back to school uh, today. Some teachers going back to school today. Isn't that nuts? Today. It's August 2nd. So shout out to the teachers. Uh, probably one of the most important jobs on the entire planet because literally they are educating the future, the people who will be taking care of us when we get older. Uh, so yeah, shout out to the teachers. Underpaid, underappreciated if you ask me. And good luck to the Florida teachers who are going back to school this week. God bless. All right, I gotta get back to this and I don't want you to have to watch all this eating. Let's enjoy a little Batu atmosphere. Thank you, John. I wish I was still at the pool from last night. Thanks to everybody who watched that stream last night. We did a quick little stream. But uh, yeah, I could use a pool right now. All right, I think we're like two bites away. We got this. This is way more food than you think. I'm getting full. Look, here come the crowds. So, we got in with early entry. We're very lucky. Coach N says, thank you, Pete, from a teacher who's retired five weeks in and loving it. Well, congratulations. You deserve it. I got a refill already. I'm going to go through like six of these today. If you don't have an adventures by Carney, uh, stainless steel water bottle, cooler, whatever you want to call these bad boys. But they're awesome. They're super tall. They, But I like that they're thin on the bottom, so they fit in every cup holder, whether it's your car, your stroller. And they're made, they're quality. They're made by Dugout Mugs. I'm not sure if you can see that. It says it on top. Huge company. Million dollar company. Multi-million dollar company. We have just a few left. So if you want one and you want to support, hit us up in the Discord. Or we have a website, adventuresbycarney.fun. We also have hats, t-shirts, tank tops. I'm rocking the tank today. And the hat. hey -oh. And the tank. Already covered in sweat. But yours won't come in sweat unless you want it to. Because all I have to do is put it on for six seconds. And there it is. All right, we got a few more bites and we're going on rise. I'm sorry. I just like talking with all of you. I hope you're having a great morning so far. Happy Wednesday. Glenn Ritchie in the house. Good morning, Glenn. Mark Temple, good morning. Said enjoying the atmosphere this morning. Thank you. My pleasure. I'll be quiet for a little bit and everyone just wake up nice and easy. I forget people are just opening their eyes. <laughs> I'm coming in real hot.
guess who finished their breakfast? This guy, you know, my, my reward is, I don't want dessert. I want Rise of the Resistance. Let's go. We have a lightning lane, so let's go ride one of the best rides at Walt Disney World. And then, mimosas. Hollywood. That was so cute. That kid trying to fit the entire Ronto wrap in his mouth was adorable. I'm gonna grab myself another cup of water because I already finished my water bottle. Oh. I have more water, please. Oh, you're awesome. Thanks so much. Oh snap, check it out everybody. Mando and Bay and, and Grogu. Can I have on the other side? Is that okay? Thanks, sure. Oh snap. Oh, so to get the pictures taken, you kind of just have to make it happen as he wanders around the land. There's no official picture spot. Travelers. I want to see the program. Let's go around here. The Mandalorian, that's fun. I actually saw that show, would you believe it? Good morning to everyone who's just joining us, waking up, starting their Wednesday. Hope it's going to be an amazing day for you. See, so we got about 170 people hanging out and just around 100 likes. If you could hit the like button, it really helps. And then it also helps with the algorithm. YouTube will push it out and we can send so many more people to Batu with us. We're about to hop on rise, but this is adorable. Look at little Ray. Great picture spot here. If you see the umbrella and Disney's photo pass person, this is an awesome photo op. Sometimes they do them over here as well. A good way to see if it's gonna be a photo spot is when you see these umbrellas stationed out in something, uh, you know, in front of something beautiful. Most likely they'll be taking pictures. Look at this standby line. Currently at, what did that say? 70 minutes, wow. We're going in this way because you deserve a little lightning lane for hanging out with us this Wednesday morning. Good morning, either one. Bright Suns. Thanks so much, Grace. Have a great day, everyone. Here we go. So there are parts of this ride that are a little sketchy with cell service and Wi-Fi. Perfect. Just who knows what's going to happen. So all I'm going to say is if it ever gets blurry or laggy, if you could please just hit refresh, I'm going to be refreshing on my end too. If it stays really bad, just drop something in the comments or here in the chat. I'll try to switch. Ride with no hiccups, but don't go anywhere. We're not leaving. Good morning, Kevin Sparrow. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, 32G. Thanks for those kind words. 
Thank you, Marissa, for the Venmo. You got it. Thanks so much. Okay. It's way above you. Either guys, move all the way forward into the room. Filling all the available space ahead of you. Good morning, Mr. Lou. Bill is here. Good morning. Mr. Dave, good morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go all the way over here. Toast, good morning. Moogle, just in time. Daniel, I'm not sure. I told him if he wakes up in time, he could come visit. Izzo, good morning. Oh, thanks. Bill says best live stream. Stacy, good morning. Oh, snap. are happening. Look at this beautiful sh Great to see so many people and new faces. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Peaches. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. Epcot Don, this ride. Uh, we do have a little blurry or a lag. Hang with me. Hit refresh. I'm not going anywhere. We're going to be having fun all morning here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. But now... It's time to rise up against the resistance. Well, we're going to rise with the resistance. I guess we are the resistance? We are the resistance. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh, no, don't leave us. No! So there's not a bad scene here. You could watch us leaving Batu out of the back of the ship. You can see where we're headed out of the front of the ship. And uh, above us, you'll see things happening as well. If you're enjoying the stream, hit the like button. It helps. It promise. Subscribe. I love that. Here we go. So you can see on our front screen we're leaving Batu. And out of the back, you'll see us leaving. 
was tasked with getting you to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. I'm about to get better thin, huh? Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got company! First order TIE fighters! We are! Look at this. We're in big trouble. As you proceed this way for interrogation, keep your entire unit together. Oh boy. There's our ship. What a room. How many? Just me. Right. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. How cool is this? I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. I'm having a great time. I hope you're having a good time. Walking right on on a Wednesday morning. This is great. Top of the morning to you. Just me. Thanks so much. You got to kill him with kindness here. That's what I hear. <laughs> Daniel says, next time tell them it's you and the number watching. Uh, just me and my 165 friends. Peach's P says, it's an ABC love on overboard. Between the stream last night, the Patreon call last night, and on an early morning stream, loving it. Yeah, we're having a good time. Last Thursday, the food and wine, seven and a half hours was fun. Then our Haunted Mansion to Haunted Mansion stream I thought was a good time. So if you're new and you just found the channel, consider subscribing. We do fun stuff in the parks all the time. All right, here we go. Sounds good, thanks. Good morning, Stephen from Wyoming. What a friendly bunch. <laughs> These guys are freaking me out. <laughs> I hear that a lot with my friends. They're like, oh, I could work on this ride. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, we're going into interrogation. Nobody say anything, all right? Be cool. Silver and orange. Have a great day. Oh, wait, this chamber has no windows and no doors. How do we get out? Oh, God, I don't know where to go. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snap out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners, you have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Now what? Oh boy. I got a bad feeling about this. We're trapped. We've been rescued. Thank goodness. I had another lightning lane. I'm jogging. I'm jogging. Your arms and legs in the store. Closing R5, go ahead and close. R5. Watch any loose items. We'll hold on to that security for the entire duration. Okay, next. Take this corridor to the turbo lift. Then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. We're we'll turning back over right here. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated in the seatbelt securely fastened. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. The ballroom. <laughs> Them. It's a prisoner transfer. It's a prisoner transfer. Did it work? It looks Good. like it. Now get a move on. Oh no. Rogue droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the doors are the prisoner. Oh jeez. Quick, what we gotta do is get in there. Oh no. Jeez Louise! Where's Finn? Oh, there he is. We're going up! Sweet sassy molassy. Uh, we're in B mode. Normally, uh, there's something happening behind here. Okay, you're clear. 
coming in real hot. Oh, oh, oh. Your escape pods came in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. We did it. Oh, God, we survived. All right. Nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, your resistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Better. Right, Scat for his pod beacon. Or escape pods down in sector four. Verification ending to them. Lieutenant back here. Back. Uh -huh. You're alive. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo. Yes, R5. You too. Yeah, R5. Great work. Awesome. We did it. I don't want to brag, but we did it. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for hanging with us. Hi, everybody. I'm Pete. I see we got over 200 people hanging out. I hope you're having an awesome morning. We are just getting off Rise of the You can rewind a little bit if you want to see it. We've been hanging out here at Hollywood Studios for about the last hour or so, so far. From here, I'm going to go take you to what a lot of people don't realize. You can grab a mimosa first thing in the morning here at Hollywood Studios. And it's not at a bar. It's not at a restaurant. We're gonna go right now and I'm gonna show you. But if you could do me a big favor first, over 200 people hanging out, but with only 125 likes. If you could hit that like button, it really helps. And it makes this red face smile real big. So thanks. And also, you know, if you wanna subscribe, that would be super cool. Anyway, let's go uh, walk around Hollywood Studios. It's a beautiful Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week. Hopefully it's a little bit cooler on Earth. Batu has some humidity issues right now. Jeez, it is hot. Oh, things are changing from the wreckage. To, oh, here we are at Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida. Similar weather to Batu, but I mean, look at those skies. If you're ever having an issue with anything here at the park, whether it's the Mind is the Experience app, a reservation, a ride, something happened, or you just want to give a cast compliment, you can do that in the app too. But look for these blue umbrellas, the guest experience team. They do a great job. They can help you out. So you don't have to go all the way to the front of the park and go to guest relations. Just look for a blue umbrella. They moved it. They used to be right over here, but now there's a little stand to get some cotton candy and churros. So now guest experience team is over on the right when you're looking at the entrance to Galaxy's Edge. If you haven't seen, there's some construction walls up here uh, in Grand Plaza, or I'm sorry, Grand Park. Quiet morning. Let's just walk around real quick. It's too beautiful to walk by. Gelato's open first thing in the morning. I like that. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. It's five minutes to show. Five minutes till the show? Muppet Vision. Do you guys all have your 3D glasses? Ms. Liberty, looking wonderful as ever. I just want to jump in this fountain. Many people do, and it's not recommended. Oh, they're doing well. I love it when it's quiet back here. So much fun. We might come back here later. I'll show you upstairs and we'll walk around, but it's just a great area. It's a big loop if you ever just want to walk around this way or that way. If you're looking for Mama Melrose, it's in the back of this area as well. And if you ever need a restroom in this area of the park, you are in luck. There are so many restrooms back over here. You have one, Gonzo's Royal Flush right here, public restrooms. If we make our way around this construction wall, I'll show you where you can find two other restrooms within about less than 50 yards. Or if you're watching somewhere that uses the metric system, about 50 meters. Boom, more restrooms right there. There's a woman's and a men's room right there, family bathrooms. And there's also a restroom inside the sci-fi dine-in right over here to the left. Baseline tap house. We'll just walk by, pay our respects. One of my favorite spots. If you're ever looking to meet up with me here, this is a good spot to come check first. <laughs> Cause you know, it's beer o'clock.
Baseline opening at 10.30 today. I like that stream. We did a stream here one morning, way back when. But there was like a group of women from Orlando that just get together and they like hang out here in the morning. I don't know if it's like once a month or whenever, but I thought that was awesome. Here's the sci-fi dining. Go back in time. Never got to take my dad there, but next time I go, we'll have a drink for him. Have an O'Doul's for him. The ABC commissary, I will say, has stepped up their game. Uh, kind of got a, uh, had a rough rap or, you know, a tough, people were a little hard on it for a little bit, but they changed up their menu and it's not too bad. Plus, there's a lot of air conditioning inside. So it's a nice little spot. You got the pork carnitas tacos, the Mediterranean salad with chicken, the California burger, the chicken club, which I like a lot. And the buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwich is really good. Another nice part about this little walkway, you can see that we get the protection from the buildings. It's shaded. It feels wonderful. If you're just starting your day, welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're having a day. What a way to wake up. I hope if you're having a great week, it continues. And if you're having a rough one, today's the day it all turns around. I got a feeling. Maybe we'll do Runaway Railway later, too. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Except for the fact that you have to meet Lauren later on. So we do have a hard cap, but we're gonna do as many things as we can while we're here. It's only nine o'clock. I mean, come on, we got time. All right, as promised, one of the things that I wanted to try out and show you is something I've also have never done, but I've read about it. People have told me about it. They go, Pete, when you're on vacation, you know, you gotta start your day with a mimosa or a little bevy. So there's a, I'm gonna call it a secret spot. It's not so secret once I show you, but it's not a bar, it's not a restaurant, but you can grab yourself a mimosa in the morning right here at Hollywood Studios. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna make a left here onto Sunset. So if you're coming into the park, I'm staring at the entrance, it would be a right for you. Right at the Trolley Car Cafe, this is the Starbucks for the park. Again, this does hold a decent line in the mornings. There are Joffrey's locations all throughout the park that just sit empty in the morning. But let's head down here. I think we gotta try one, right? You gotta do it for the channel. How's it going? I'm gonna have one of your mimosas, please. That's it. All right, let's grab that. Too many things in my pockets. Do you just want to just a cup of water? Cup of water, I love cup of water. Okay. We use a special machine for diving. I can't put it one of the 100 drinks here the disney princess the little mermaid milkshake vanilla mango guava and ginger in a milkshake top of whipped cream and a pineapple guava Seashell cake. Ooh. Thank you. Thanks so much. 
So look at that. Next time you're like, man, how do we get to start our morning here at Hollywood Studios? Come walk towards Hollywood Tower, how, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Stop at Hollywood Scoops and you can grab yourself a Mickey uh, waffle in the morning and a mimosa if you want. And since I've never had one here, I would say $14.50 is a little pricey, but we've never done it, so we have to do it, right? Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, I spilled some on myself. It's all right. Thanks so much. There we have it. All right, let's get into this. I'm going to find a place to put the camera down. A handful of mimosa. One, we're gonna need some napkins. Action. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Now we're on vacation. It's a little warm here in Florida. If you haven't heard the news, it's uh, August. It's pretty warm here. It's a little warm. But now I feel fresh. Let's really get into it. We're on vacay mode. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great day. And I'm rooting for you. If no one's told you that lately, I'm rooting for you. All right, let's have some mimosa. Ah, uh, hits the spot. Fresh OJ, a little bit of champ. Mm -mm -mm. Love me some champs. I see we have over 256 people hanging out with me right now, so thank you for being here. It means so much to me. If you could do me another, just a little favor, hit that uh, like button, the little thumbs up. You could smash it, tap it lightly, whatever you prefer, but it would really help, and uh, I would love that. And it's gonna sound crazy, but if you want to consider subscribing, we do fun stuff like this all the time. I'm in the parks all the time, plus doing other travel vlogs around the country. Uh, I'm also a craft beer fan, so we go to breweries, we do fun stuff, uh, all kinds of theme park things. We're pass holders here at Disney, Universal, SeaWorld. We do Gatorland. We do it all. So uh, if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing. We also have a website. You can go check out some pictures and other cool stuff, adventuresbycarney.fun. We have an amazing Discord, fantastic community. It's completely free. You can go check that out. All the links are down below. You can follow me on my socials. Those links are down below. We're just trying to create a loving, beautiful place here on the community. Uh, on the internet. The internet community. Put those words together. Man, this mimosa is good. So I will say, I did book a Slinky Dog uh, Lightning Lane because I feel like I teased it to start the stream. And I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be able to sleep tonight if I didn't get this to go on Slinky Dog. Unless, of course, it breaks down. Then I have, that's out of my control. Big shout out to Bill and Lynette for helping me. Look at these beautiful water bottles. Every time I look at it, I think of them and want to thank them. We have a few left if you're interested in you want one. We also have some hats, we got some shirts. We do all the fun things. Uh, we just talked about it last night on our Patreon Zoom call. We have a Patreon too, by the way, if you want to support, awesome. Uh, but on our Patreon Zoom call last night, uh, we're doing another meetup. Uh, the first, let's say four or five days of October, uh, information is going to be coming out soon, but we just teased it last night. Brandy made an awesome image and put it up on our Discord and the website. So if you're in town, uh, the end of September, early October, oh my God, the squirrel, get out of here. No, get out of here. You guys, I was attacked by a squirrel at Hollywood, at a DAC, and this squirrel just literally came onto my shoe. This squirrel just put his front two paws on the corner, like legit just walked up and was like, hey, you got anything for me? 
I know I have a friendly face, but these squirrels are getting out of control. If you missed it, uh, we did a meetup for Animal Kingdom's 25th. Sorry, I'm just gonna hang out here and talk for just a second, then we'll go on some rides. But uh, we did a meetup for the DAC 25th, and at it, I was live, we were having a great time. If you wanna go check it out, it was back in April. And we're hanging out, we have a drink from uh, Nomad Lounge over at Animal Kingdom. And I'm sitting there talking, we're watching, we're waiting for the boats to come by, the flotillas. And a squirrel runs across the bridge and runs across literally like my hand and the drink and knocks my drink over that I just bought. So I had to go back into Nomad. Thank God, awesome bartenders over there. I think Katrina was working that day and Katrina. I was like, Katrina, you're not gonna believe this, but it's on camera. A squirrel knocked my drink over, I swear. Is there any way I could have a new one? And she hooked it up, she was great. What's been really cool about living down here in Florida the last four years is kind of getting to know cast members a little bit better and because uh, they really do work so hard and like we were talking about teachers earlier but cast members are so underappreciated so it's nice to see Katrina the uh, bartender over at Nomad is actually on vacation right now we're Instagram friends yeah, how cool is that also if you're over at, ever at Animal Kingdom you got to go see my boy Jimmy at the restaurant the Source Lounge and ask for a peat margarita it's a real thing one of the coolest things ever I've had a, very, a lot of cool Disney moments, but having a secret menu item, a secret drink, seriously, just go into the restaurant source lounge. Jimmy is working. He's used, there's only one bartender there. I think he's only off one or two days a week, like most people, but he does work weekends. Go ask for a Pete Margarita. He loves it. My friend did it the other day. Uh, it was two days ago. She texted me. She's like, oh my God, it's a real thing. You actually have a drink. And I'm like, yeah, I told you. Look at the squirrel. What? What do you want? Listen, I'm not anti-squirrel. I just feel like you should, why do you have to get so close? Like legit, like right next to me. I lost you. I just don't want you to go up my leg. Oh, there you are. Yeah, go get the bird. All right, actually, I'm gonna pull out the second phone real quick because we're gonna see what we're gonna do next. Because uh, we have a little bit of time before Slinky Dog. Let's see if there's any cool shows or other fun stuff happening or the wait time for some other rides, maybe if it's a short wait time. I try, just so everyone knows if you're new here, I try not to wait more than 20 minutes for anything while we're on a live stream. Because waiting in line is not fun for people watching and wherever you're watching, work, home, in the car, on a train, planes, automobiles. <laughs> Glenn, that's so funny. I'm also gonna catch up with the chat in a second too. But let's look at some wait times here. Everybody remind me, like, around 10 to start heading towards Slinky. Let's look at some wait times. So I would do Tower of Terror, but I know I lose service in the boiler room every time. And we lose so many viewers whenever we lose service in there. And we have over 250 people hanging out, so I don't want to lose everyone. That's why I don't, I love Tower of Terror. It's one of my favorite rides on the planet. Uh, we can go watch the car show. That's open. Let's see. Um, Mickey and Minnie's at 45. Yikes. Why so long? Star Tours we could try, but it's 3D glasses. That's the problem with that. Slinky's at 75, but we have a return time for that. Um, Alien Swirling Saucers is only five minutes, so maybe we'll do that right before Slinky, maybe we'll do that in like a half hour. Let's see if there's any show times coming up. Entertainment. Let's see. Where are we headed next? I'd like to come up with a plan with all of you first, and then we'll go explore. Plus, there's shade here, and it feels glorious. So, Beauty and the Beast's first show is at 11. Then... Fantasmic's at night. We won't be here for that, I'm sorry. But we've done it a million times. We want to go check it out. We have lots of shows here at the channel. Wow, we could meet Edna Moe. That's only five minutes right now. Meeting Olaf's only five minutes. Meeting Chewbacca's only 10 minutes. And everything else starts at later on I mean I feel like Dr. Doolittle the birds are landing on my umbrella squirrels are dancing on my feet we haven't done the racing academy in a while we probably could do that too
Uh, right now, Rock and Roller Coaster is temporarily closed, just for those wondering, because I was thinking about doing that too, but it's down. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just go check out Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, because that's fun. And we're right next to it. While we're down here, we may as well, right? All right. Uh, before we go, though, while I sip my mimosa here, I just want to say hi to everyone who's been here in the chat because I like recognizing people. Uh, let's see who, uh, where I left off and who I have to say hi to as I literally keep moving my feet because the squirrel is running underneath it. Welcome to the squirrel live stream. If you missed it, uh, when we came into the park, we did get here right for Rogue Drop. We were some of the first people in. We've been live for about an hour and a half now. Um, we've already done Rise of the Resistance. We did a quick lap around the park already. Uh, and we just grabbed a mimosa from Scoops, which is a fun little find. If you didn't know, you can grab a mimosa in the morning from Scoops right here. Look at the squirrel. I'm not even kidding. Look how crazy this is. This is how bulgy the squirrel is. It's climbing into the stroller. I want to... Hey. Hey. I know you don't speak English, but that's like code for get out of here. Scram. Find your own stroller. I don't think I ever had to say this. Look, he's going into the other one now, too. Quick warning, I guess, here at the Disney Parks now. Check your strollers for squirrels before putting your kids inside of them. Look at this squirrel. Are we at Animal Kingdom? Look, there's two of them. I got you on camera, guys. You're caught. What could you possibly want out of that stroller? So yeah, if you have a stroller here at uh, Disney, give it a good shake before putting your, your kids back in. Because you might have a little squirrel waiting for you. All right, where was I? Shout out to Robert D. I saw him in there. CJL, good morning. Uh, if I haven't said hi to you or I missed your comment, you can always throw another one in there. But, oh God, I am dripping. And I want to look good for you guys. Had an awesome ride on Rise of the Resistance. Sadly, um, we did a B mode, but it was a great ride. Terry Kessler, good morning. I hope I, the jokes didn't ruin it for you, Peaches. I'm sorry. I like to have fun. Uh, the, the people behind me were laughing. They were having a good time. Kenny Holland, good morning. Good to see you. Peaches, the last time they rode Rise, got evacuated. Uh, the very first time we rode it, so on opening day, we got here at 3 in the morning. It was a whole group of us. We rode some of the first people on the ride. Uh, it was actually one of my very first YouTube videos ever, even before like we were going to do a channel. So if you go back, I think it's the first or second video ever. But we got evacuated going onto the ride as some of the first people ever. But it was an awesome uh, time because it was opening day of the ride. We got to hang out with everyone in the parking lot from 3 o'clock in the morning on. But then we ended up riding it three times that day because they kept giving us passes because they felt bad that we got evacuated. <laughs> Glenn goes, I wonder what the service temperature is on Toy Story. It's hot over there. Chris Birdstone says, hey, Pete, I'm over at Epcot. Good morning from Connections. Hope you're having fun over there, Chris. I know you told me you were going over there. Uh, I am here. I had some friends here as well, but also I was supposed to do a stream from here yesterday, so that's why we came back to Rope Drop It, because I felt like since we didn't get a chance to stream from here yesterday, I owed it to the people. Uh, I love all of you guys in the chat. If you're not reading the chat, it's fantastic. Stacy, good morning, says the Disney Nerd Herders. How's the crowds? Crowds are very light today. Um, I mean, wait times are, you know, up there, but rock and roller uh, coasters down, so all those people got to go somewhere. But, I mean, it is pretty quiet everywhere. The sidewalks are empty. Good morning, Shari. Great to see you. So the Mimosa's right next to Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. It's here at Scoops by the Tower of Terror. We're going to go do Lightning McQueen next. I just figured I'd say hi to everyone here quick and go. Katie McGinnis, good morning. I'm not sure if I said hi to you yet, but I figured I'd say hi again. Bubba, good morning. Great to see you. John, good morning. Suzanne Ritchie in the house. Karina, good morning. Says hello from Brazil. What's up? Yeah, we're getting a little squirrely this morning. 
I am the Squirrel Whisperer. Todd, good morning. Mr. Lou, good morning. I'm gonna try and say this name, but uh, Zhuhan, good morning. There is, uh, <laughs> Brandy makes a good point. There is HHN Fog at Lightning McQueen. I'm sure it's not called HHN Fog, but there is fog in that show. <laughs> yeah, this uh, Hollywood Studios room is turning into an Animal Kingdom stream for sure. Crystal Coachman, good morning. Great to see you. Uh, Julie, good morning. Says, good morning. First time watcher. Do you generally do early morning park streams? So we mix it up. We really do uh, try to do a little bit of everything. Uh, if you go back and look at our live streams here on the channel, uh, we did, we rope dropped Epcot like two weeks ago. And then I want to say like two weeks before that, we rope dropped Animal Kingdom. Sometimes we do evenings. Last night we did a nighttime stream um, from a resort. Um, we did a middle of the day stream last Friday where we went from Disney Springs watching the Haunted Mansion to the Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom. And then we went to Epcot and that was a long stream in the middle of the day. We really do mix it up and different lengths too. Like last night was a quick half hour live stream just to say hi. And then last week on Thursday, we did seven and a half hours. On Friday, we did five hours. Uh, today will probably be like two or three. So we really do mix it up. I try to hit everyone's different times and whatnot. But the best part is you can always come back and watch. And if you are watching in the future right now, anyone, you can still hit the like button and subscribe. It would be awesome. All right. Shall we go uh, watch some Lightning McQueen? Let's go. Seeing Owen Wilson in Haunted Mansion, now I gotta go see Lightning McQueen. All right. Ooh, it's hot. I'm just gonna grab some more napkins. I'm just gonna hit the powder room. I'll be right back. squirrel legit just laying down under my table right here just just hanging out I just walked up walked around it is fearless oh now you want to go away now you don't want to be best friends all right let's head out water bottle check nice thing about this as well like I said this is you can still hear the ice cube in there from three hours ago fits in all your cup holders, fits in your strollers, but also since it has the thin bottom and it comes up a little wider on top, it fits in my pocket so I don't have to carry it in my hand. All right, let's go. Look at these palm trees, uh, the palms are beautiful. You've really got to stop and look around. Everything is just so beautiful. I'm making a lot of noise when I walk. G Force Records presents Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith. Not open today, but let's go to the Racing Academy. A lot of people walking this way. Like, did this just reopen or? Oh, 60 minutes. It did just reopen. But we're not going to wait 60 minutes. That's crazy talk. Pretzel Palooza opened. And if you're looking for a cold beer, they got Yingling and Bud Light on top here. I really could use more water. I am crushing water today. I sort of want a Bud Light, too. I don't know, I'm feeling crazy today. If you ever do the private VIP tours through Disney, this is actually one of the entrances you come in and out of when you're entering the park right here. You get a private ride from all the parks. We did a, we were very lucky to be invited on a VIP tour of all four parks and you get walked on to the rides, but you also get private transportation from Disney and you come in the backstage way. So we actually pulled in back here by Hollywood Tower of Terror 
Uh, well, I should say, yeah. It's the Tower of Terror, but the Hollywood Tower Hotel. You guys know what I'm saying, you silly gooses, you geese. But we pulled in right here, we came in right here. It was awesome. We did Rock and Roller Coaster. I think we did Slinky Dog Rise, hopped back in the car, and <laughs> went to another park. If you don't want to pay all that money for Disney tours, come get a tour with me. You can book me. I'll come to the park with you. I'll get, try and get as much carny magic as I can. We'll go on as many rides. I can't guarantee anything, but we'll have a lot of fun. DJ is here. Loving the vibe. Cruz Ramirez hanging out. I can't wait till they connect this land to Toy Story so you don't have to walk around, round, round. How's it going? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. We got some time, it looks like. I'm going to go hang out with DJ and Cruz. Mm, 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 mm. Also, I like to point out some of my favorite restrooms. These restrooms are always dead. No one even uses these restrooms back here. So if you're looking for a really quiet restroom, that's the spot. Let's see what we got over here. Collectible Penny Press. We got the Mater Penny, the Lightning McQueen, the Radiator Springs one's cool. I like it. That's probably, probably one of the best lands ever created. Radiator Springs out at Disney's California Adventure. It looks like Stags might be coming back if anyone's into Disney politics. Big fan of Stags. One of the coolest things when I went out to Disneyland for the first time, I've only seen these cars stationary, but I literally saw DJ like driving down the street at Disney's California Adventure, like interacting with people. It was crazy. Speakers actually working, lights, undercarriage light. Like it was legit. I was like, this is cool. Get around, round, round. I have to sing over the song because we're going to get to. How awesome is this building? I really wish you would turn this into an actual hotel or a bar. I would, oh, the doors are opening. There they are. And drop, see ya. <laughs> That's great. All right, it looks like it's about to be showtime. You guys wanna know a secret? I mean, it's not that crazy, but when the exit doors open, means people are about to leave and where do you get to go in? Out they come. Look at all these happy Racing Academy graduates. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. It really does help. It's so cool to see over 250 people hanging out with us all morning, but we're still not at 200 likes. Let's get it up. If you can, I understand. Some people, I haven't earned it yet. But if you maybe just forgot, you could do it right now. It'd be awesome. Danny Rodriguez, good morning. Coach of Stags is key. Yes, Brandy does AJ10 tours, but she says the AJ10 tour guides blow me out of the water, but I do both the three and the six house tour every year, so I get a lot of info from them. That is key. I've done a lot of tours here at Disney as well. That's where I've gotten my fun facts. Plus, being on a lot of different podcasts, YouTube shows, you'll learn a lot. But if you uh, will be in town the first week of October, we're going to be hanging out at HHN with Phenomenal Brandy, and she is an expert. I will, I'm will. i going to call her an expert. <laughs> Jackie Johnson says, the Pete Disney Bar Tour. Yeah, I mean, we can do that too. Some of you want to hang out all day? We can, I'll put some time aside. Good morning, Pat Mix 75. Julie, good morning. Julie, thanks for being a new subscriber. Really appreciate that. If anyone else is new, feel free to jump in here, say hi. We'll say we'll show you some love. Also, if you're new to our little community here, uh, all are welcome or a place for everybody. But we have a great Discord. It's something you can do from your phone, your computer, your laptop. It's completely free, uh, and it's just a really cool community. We got it. We talk about a little bit of everything there. We have um, a general conversation. People just check in, say good morning. It's Everyone's very friendly, nice. It's kind of amazing to have such a great place and safe place and uh, on the internet where everyone's just really, really kind to one another. So very lucky in that regard. But yeah, you can suggest live stream ideas. You can suggest edited videos. I try to drop my schedule in there whenever I actually know what I'm doing. 
our meetups. We have theme park tips and tricks. It's a great place. All right, doors are opening. Let's do this. Air conditioning, Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. Nick Silva, good morning. Ah, it smells like froggy fog. Let's try to sit back here so I don't interrupt anyone with my camera. I like that this is a road. I enjoy the little details. So, uh, not a tremendously big theater, but normally doesn't fill up. I'll show everyone. This is the whole theater right here. And there's really no bad seats. You can see the screens go all the way around. And behind this center stage area, that's where you'll, we're going to see Lightning McQueen. You nailed it. Yeah. Oh, Cruz and Lightning have been working on a demo for today that's going to knock your tires off. Cruz really knows their race. Let's give her two hugs up. Uh, uh. Hello, rookie racers. Welcome to Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. I'm Sally. And I'm back. Uh, uh. And we're here live backstage at the Racing Academy. As you rookies make your way in, please pick a lane and drive on in. Once you find your blackest spot, please turn off all high beams and silence your radios. There is no smoking, heating, live photography, or video recording inside the Racing Academy. Thank you. From racer to mentor, Lightning McQueen has had quite a career. Let's take things back to Lightning's rookie year for our next question. Sure thing, Sally. It is rookie business up here. This racer was in a three-way tie with... Daniel Rodriguez, good morning. Steven Singleton, good morning. To those just driving in, I'm Sally, and I'm here with Lightning McQueen's official driver and my pal, Matt. Hi there! Uh, uh. Please be aware that the lights will dim and effects will be used during today's presentation. So, we may park until the body returns to normal. If we need to exit the racing academy, please drive back where you enter. How about one last question before we get started? All right. What is Lightning McQueen's signature catchphrase? Oh, I think we nailed this one earlier. We don't need to read the options on this one. Everyone knows Let's it. Let's the answer all together on three. One, two, three. Ka-chow! Lightning McQueen's signature catchphrase is the catchphrase that Lightning McQueen uses to greet all of his rookie drivers. Okay, just me? Now, it's early. Okay. Here, Ka-chow, shout it back as loud as you can. Let's try it. Ka-chow! Ka-chow! Oh, come on, you rookies. Sounds good, Bring coach. Those 
If you're ready to meet Lucky the Queen, yell it! Ka-chow! Ka-chow! All right, Lucky Aces, find your parking spot, turn off your engines, and remember to stay parked until the end of the presentation. Thank you. Welcome in, Ricky Racers. There are just a couple rules before we hit the road. There's no eating or drinking inside the theater. No flash photography, but you're more than welcome to take photos and videos. Yes. And let's make sure our little racers are staying seated at all times, meaning no standing or climbing on the benches. Enjoy the show. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. Daniel tomorrow on the trailer. This is a great patron Zoom call last night. Thanks to everyone who attended. It's always a great time. Come join us next month. I agree. Thanks, Daniel. Oh, yo, daddy, there's going to be someone else. Well, hey there, rookie racers. You're parked in Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. My best is buddy, Lightning McQueen. Don't ask me to introduce you. So I put together a little thing I call Lightning McQueen, the untold story that ain't done yet been told. And here it is, singing style. Oh, I got to push the button. Shoot. I knew that. Here's a story of a car. This is a bright shit rookie star. End of the season, went that far to crazy. Good morning, Dawn. Feel better, Steven. Put the wheels together for seven time instant time champion and Mater's best friend, Lightning the Queen! Ka-chow! Ka-chow! Oh, Mater, that was some introduction. Well, nothing's too good for my best buddy. I pulled out all the stuff. Lights, lasers. Smoke. There's no smoke. No smoke. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, Mater. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Wow, what a great group of rookie racers. You know, I only figured out how to be a great racer because I had a great teacher, Doc Hudson. That's why I started this racing academy, so I could pay that forward to all of you. Uh, buddy? <laughs> yes, Mater? Doc wasn't the only one to talk to you with anger three. <laughs> That's right. He taught me how to drive backwards, how to tip tractors, how to be a great friend. Yeah, he went on to win a heap of piston cups. Whee! Now, winning is great and all, but Doc taught me, at the end of the day, without your friends, it's just an empty cup. Doc's passion for racing was inspiring. If he couldn't outrace them, he would outthink them. Ladies and gentlemen, cars, get a fabulous Hudson morning. Wow. Now, to kick off today's lesson, I'm going to take a few laps on the simulator. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Simulators and I don't get along very well. Uh, did you have to show that, Mater? Well, it makes you more dramatic. Yeah, but that's not going to happen this time, thanks to the tech-savvy rookie sensation and my friend, Cruz Ramirez!
Exactly. As you get started, get used to the speed for a moment and pick a line and stick to it. Uh-oh, congestion ahead. What should we do, Chris? Imagine a stampede and hit the window. Just like Smokey taught us. Pressure, but I feel like All we right, got this. Let's do this. Vader, start up the I love the name of the bank. On it. Hostile Please takeover bank. The course. Check it. Motor Speedway. Come on, is that even a place? It is now. All right. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. It's the wrong way. That's it. Oh, I'm driving backwards here.
Nice job, everyone. Awesome work, rookies. Hope you enjoyed the Lightning McQueen Racing Academy. We're here hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We've been here for about two hours now. If you're just joining, good morning, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a great week. We've done a little lap around the park. We've done a little Rise of the Resistance. We had a Ronto wrap. We had a little mimosa from Scoops. It's been a wonderful morning. And if uh, whether you've been hanging out for a while or just tuning in, if you could hit the like button, it really does help. We just crossed the 200 mark, but I see we got about 260 people hanging out. So if everyone just tappity tap taps that thumbs up, that would be wonderful. And uh, welcome to the new subscribers. So pumped to have you here. Obviously, thanks to all everyone who's already a subscriber. Wouldn't have a channel. If you're spinning, you should be able to hit refresh. On Derby, a delicious restaurant. I'd say in this park, it's probably my own restaurant. Although you have a great character dining over at Hollywood and Vine. You have awesome theming and fantastic <laughs> servers, in quotations. Uh, right next door, why can't I think of the name? Uh, 50's Prime Time. Throughout the day right here on this lawn next to the Hollywood Brown, packed with guests. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. All right, next up, we're headed to Slinky Dog Dash. We got a lightning lane. Who wants to go on an awesome family coaster? I think it's a ton of fun. Besides theme parks, we also do the Disney resorts. Uh, and we don't just do Disney, we do Universal and SeaWorld as well. SeaWorld just kicked off their craft beer festival uh, this past Friday. So we'll be going there to check that out soon, as well as we'll go back and uh, check out the surf coaster. We did that uh, before it opened, which was great. Oh, wait, before we go on Slinky Dog, it looks like some of our friends from the Incredibles are out. Let's go check it out. This used to be the old Pixar place. Some of you may remember it said the Pixar was up here and this was the entrance to Toy Story uh, Mania. Now it's on the other side, but from time to time, characters will come out and hang out out here. Or you can have these great photo spots, Elemental. Jack-Jack up there hanging out. You can see where Jack-Jack's run all over this land. Also the Edna Mode experience is back here. 
you get to meet Edna Mode and see some of her designs. There's another great Pixar photo op right here. Right now it's about 30 minutes to meet Edna. She meets all day from nine to five. And my doppelganger, and Elast Elastigirl is back here, just hanging out. It's like looking in a mirror. Except my face is the color of his outfit. A little bit of a line back here. Another nice thing is their shade, and it feels glorious. I mean, look at the quads, it's incredible. All right, let's go ride Slinky Dog Dash. Here's that in the mode, by the way, taking pics. Best part is the smell of popcorn. There's more Jack Jack. Another guest experience team umbrella back here if you're looking for a little bit of help with something in the park. That's me. Thanks, Woody. I appreciate it, Woodrow. If you're looking for a picture right here at Toy Story Land, they do have the photo pass person. Hey. Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. I'm a fan. I think it's cool. It is a lot of food, though. I'd say go hungry and... Uh, they're gonna wanna take a nap afterwards. It's a lot. And this is what we're headed to, Slinky Dog Dash. Right now, Toy Story Mania holding a 55 minute wait. And Woody and Jesse are out here taking some pictures. This is where they normally take pics, so if you're looking for them, come over here to Toy Story Mania. You do a little pin trading out here, which is cool. Yeah. Look at this cool pin trading board. I love it. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Quite well. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here and creating magic. Thank you for being here. Ah, I'm having the best day ever. <laughs> all right now, Slinky Dog, it's 70 minutes. But I don't want to make all of you wait. I'm so honored you're watching the live stream. We're gonna go down the lightning lane. 
And you don't have to, but if you want to just, you know, hit the like button or subscribe, that would be really cool. That's all I'm saying. But you don't have to. I'm just happy you're here. Thanks for hanging with me on this Wednesday morning. Okay, just jumped right in front of me, but it's okay. You go ahead. Oh, still early. All right, sounds good. Thanks. A little early. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, yeah. I'm a little. I got a little bit of time. Hang on. Here we go. Have fun. So different roller coasters in different parks. I'd say the front is better than the back or the back is better than the front. Like Big Thunder Mountain, I like sitting in the rear. Uh, also this coaster, I enjoy sitting in the back. I think you get a little bit more of the thrills and also the slinky head if you're in the front row is obstructs a little bit of your view. But they're all good seats. I'm just being a little nitpicky and letting you know what I think is best. We got a little bit of time. Let's go kill five minutes. Here we go. Hope everyone's having a great summer. I can't believe it's August already. It's wild. But it is my birthday month, August 29th. The claw. I'm gonna see if I can snag. I already finished my water bottle a few times. I gotta refill it with some cups of water. Let's see if we can get a little bit of love. How's it going? I'm gonna put all of you over here for one second while I grab a little water. A little bit of water. fresh. All right, off we go. I think we've 
effectively killed our five minutes. Now we can go ride Slinky Dog Dash. I like that tumbler. Hi, Rebecca Dolan. We have only just, I think, just a few left. I think we have, I literally have three or four tumblers left. If anyone wants one, you can go check them out on the website, adventuresbycarney.fun, or in the Discord underneath merch, or just hit up Bill. Bill's my merch man. Gotta hydrate the dehydrate, exactly. Yeah, if we ever uh, get a little fuzzy screen or a lag or a spin, just hit refresh. There's certain weird spots on the parks, but I'm constantly refreshing on my end too, so I want you to have an awesome stream. VS is, hey, I'm a new subscriber. Happy to be here wa uh, wandering. Oh, I'm wondering if this is your full-time job or what do you do for work? Uh, this is not my full-time job. I do this on the side, but I love it to be full-time one day. Angelina, thanks for subscribing as well. <laughs> Angelina says, I'm, I literally subscribe because <laughs> you're streaming Slinky and nobody else shows this ride live. Well, I'm glad I'm doing it then. It was all worth it. Jamie M, how's it going? Just Barry, good morning. I'm gonna try again, Michelle. We're good? Yeah. Thanks so much. Glenn says, where's the best margarita at Disney's Hollywood Studios? Hmm. Well, the Brown Derby does have a margarita flight, which is, uh, I think, pretty good. It's interesting, it's fun. Let me think, where else is a good mark? I mean, I'd go see Julie over at Tune In Lounge. <laughs> Our Mendito says, we never lose signal at the dance party, just saying. It's funny, I was talking to my buddy Brian when we were here yesterday with his daughter. I said, everyone always wants me to go to the dance party, but it's just so weird as a grown man going to the <laughs> Disney Junior dance party alone. I said, so now that your daughter's here, if she wants to do it tonight, we should totally do it. I'll go live. And he's like, nah, she just wants to go back and go to the pool with you. I'm like, oh, okay. So when they built this, they eventually did add more shade, but it is a bit rough. You are exposed right out in the sun. Got to turn the hat around. So some cool Easter eggs all throughout this queue as well. Like the price tag here on this box, you see 1995. That was the year Toy Story first came out. So that's a fun little nod to the movie right there. Have a great ride. At least the standby queue is covered for the most part. Also, once we get up to the loading area, you'll see uh, a hand-drawn picture by Andy of this roller coaster. And you'll see what it was supposed to be like. Like all Disney projects, they're very ambitious and then things get cut, sadly. But uh, I'd say at least half the stuff is still here on the ride. It is fun, honestly, it's a fun ride. When uh, they were building this, I was doing a lot of different YouTube shows and podcasts and people were like, oh, it's going to be terrible. It got so budget cut. Uh, it's going to be, in, it's not going to be fun. I really enjoy it. I think it's fun for the whole family. To be honest, I, I like Tron too, but I just hate how short Tron is and how a lot of riders, at least like from what I've heard, at least a third of the riders can not actually go on it or don't even attempt it. So I think this is fun because everyone can pretty much ride it. It's longer than Tron. Although Tron is fun, it's fancy, it's new. If you wanna see us go on Tron, we have videos here on this, here, right here on the YouTube page.
<laughs> Epic stream. The dance party. We'll go do the dance party again one day. I don't know if today's the day, but we'll go back into the Disney Junior dance party. Just me. Awesome. Oh, it's a spinning wheel. Just there the uh, yeah. The right. I got. I'm rocking the 30th anniversary Magic Band, so uh, it freaks some cast members out if they've never seen it, because instead of a green light or the purple light, it's a spinning Hollywood reel. But yeah, this was back in 2019. 30 years of Hollywood Studios. Let's see, they made 2,000 of these. So there's the map of the roller coaster. You can see a lot of the elements are still here, but not all of them. Yes, y piernas. And that fan feels amazing. I gotta take the hat off. Oh, yeah. It is a hot one. Another great part about getting to the parks early, besides running around and getting to a lot of rides quickly, is that it's not as hot yet. Like, I'm already drenched through my shirt. And I know that's probably not a hot look, but it's only 1020. You can imagine the hottest point of the day between one and three, how hot it gets. And then usually the rain comes in July and August around three o'clock-ish to cool us off a little bit. Don't leave the parks when it rains. A lot of people might be scared to run back. Rain will be your friend because once everyone leaves or goes to take shelter or runs to restaurants, you can hop on those rides when they reopen. I would say, though, if you do want to break in the middle of the day, just me. Thanks, sweet. I love the back, and row nine's the back row. She knew. It's my favorite row, row nine. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, if you're going to go take a break in the middle of the day, get here early, come to the parks an hour before they open, go nuts until lunch, and then go back to your hotel room, take a dip in the pool, take a nap, grab lunch back there, maybe save a few bucks, and then come back in the afternoon when you're refreshed and stay until fireworks, because you don't want to miss fireworks. But the beginning of the day is the best, the end of the day is the best. If you can go all the way through, props. I mean, we used to do it when I came down on vacations before we lived here. It's just tough in July and August. I love that. This ride's the wildest ride in Andy's backyard. Look at all these slings. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, everybody. I hope you're having fun. It's a great day for a great day. Here comes our slink. <laughs> Woo! Yes, E. P. Ernas. All right, we're gonna take you out of the gimbal. Although I've left the gimbal on before, but. <laughs> Hold on to your hats and glasses. All right, we got our gimbal. We got the water bottle. Here we go. See you later, everybody. Whee! Bye. See you later. Should we go that way? Nah.
Are you ready for the launch? Here we go. Like and subscribe! Has a Star Wars set? Ah! Oh god. Oh. oh, help me Walt Disney. Help me Roy. Help me Marty Scar. Picture. The big finale. We made it. Better than I am. Too. Let's put you back in the gimbal, yeah. Me and you, hey! Go by! Tell them. I hope everyone enjoyed Slink. Sorry if you got a little lag there at the end. Again, I don't know how these crazy places work, but we're trying our best. If you ever get a little lag, just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere unless I say goodbye. And as the years go by, a friendship, hey, we'll never die. If you're ever looking to reach me, I'd say one of the best ways to do it is to go hang out on our Discord. But also you can message me on my socials at official carney on Instagram, at your WDW guy on Twitter, also known as X. I'm Adventures by Carney on TikTok. Or we have an amazing Patreon program, and I gotta give a big shout out to all the Patreons for all the support. You are all amazing. And I can't thank you enough. And last night's Zoom call was so awesome, so much fun, so productive, so great seeing so many of you and talking with so many of you. And it was a long one. Thanks for hanging out. We hung out for a while. Thanks everybody who watched the stream last night too. We just had a quick little stream from the Swan Reserve and then walked over to the Swan and Dolphin Pool, hung out with Brian and Addy. If you've never seen the Swan and Dolphin Pool, it's beautiful. It's got a grotto, a water slide, four hot tubs, a kiddie pool, a giant pool, two other separate pools. You can order food and drinks from your chair just by scanning a QR code. They really know what they're doing over there. Oh, snap. You know who's coming? I hear him. You hear it? Oh, boy. Army men are coming out. Get a little warm up in. Let's see if they're coming out now or not. I think they're just warming up, but it's still exciting. If you're new, I know we got a lot of new people out there today. Thanks so much for hanging out and giving the channel a shot. Hopefully you're having a fun morning with us. We do a lot of content like this, so I would love if everyone subscribed. And I would also recommend getting the bell on, hit all notifications so that way you never miss a live stream. Sometimes you just do an impromptu stream. If I'm in the parks, I'm like, hey, I got an hour, or this is super cool, I wanna go live and show everybody. If you put on all notifications, you'll get a little alert. Doesn't mean you have to watch, but It'll let you know. Also, feel free to go back and check out some of our videos in the past. We got a bunch of live videos, edited videos, shorts, all kinds of fun stuff. Go explore, have some fun. We're going to be streaming a 
bunch. Even though it's August, it's hot. I like being out here and hanging out with all of you. Plus, food and wine has officially begun. What did I say about the Brown Derby lawn? Keep an eye out. Well, there's Chip and Dale, our friends. Anything goes. Oh, there's Chip. Hi, Chip. You look great. Oh, yeah, styling. S T Y L E and strong. Gosh, got it all. There's Dale. Hi, Dale. It looks like they might have a little picnic later. I'm thinking this car here, but. So, yeah, if you're walking past the Brown Derby, you never know who you're going to find. What a fun bunch. <sighs> It's been a great Wednesday so far. Whether you're watching from work, home, car, wherever you're, you're watching from, I do really appreciate you spending some time with me. There's a lot of things you could be doing, a lot of channels you could be watching, and the fact that you're here, it means a lot. So really, thank you so much. And I really mean that. I consider myself one of the luckiest people on the planet, because not only am I here at Disney, but I get to hang out with all of you and hopefully bring a little bit of magic to wherever you're watching from. So I hope you're having a great week so far. Sadly, I do have to go get some other work done. This is not my full-time job. I'd love it to be one day. So again, thanks to the Patreons. <laughs> one day we'll get there. And if we get enough subscribers and enough viewers one day, believe me, I'd love to be in the parks every day. But for now, I'm gonna have to go get some work done. But I want to thank everyone again. Sincerely, this has been such a fun morning. If you missed the stream last night, you can go check it out. We did a seven and a half hour stream at Epcot Food and Wine opening day, trying the new stuff. We did the Haunted Mansion at Disney Springs. Haunted Mansion and Magic Kingdom last Friday. Then we went to Epcot, five and a half hour stream. We had a bunch of edited videos, a bunch of shorts. Please go check it yeah. out. If you could, that'd be great. If you're a new subscriber, say hi. Check out our Discord. The link is down below and in the description. Everything else is down below. Go check it out. You are all amazing. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday. Fantastic rest of your week. It's going to be a great August. I'm rooting for you. And from Disney's Hollywood Studios, I bid you farewell. Have a great day. Love you all. And do me one big favor. Please be kind to one another. I'll see you real soon. Have a great day.